Hello there, welcome back to News 5. The founder and CEO of Huawei is playing down the significance of US restrictions on the Chinese telecoms giant. Ren Zhengfei says he and Google are discussing emergency measures to find a solution after Google agreed to comply with a US order to stop supplying Huawei. Well, it means that Google would no longer be able to offer Android apps to buyers of new Huawei phones, though updates and security patches would be available for the next 90 days. Well, speaking to Chinese media today, Mr. Ren said that the U.S. was underestimating Huawei, but its attempts would not affect its 5G rollout and wider global ambitions. If you recall, last week the Trump administration effectively barred Huawei from doing business in the U.S. through a series of measures. Well, Mr. Ren also says that Huawei is ready and will continue to develop its own components to reduce its reliance on the U.S. and foreign companies. But is Huawei really ready to go at it alone? Well, Mr. Ren says that Huawei makes half of all the chips it uses in equipment. The other half comes from U.S. companies. The Chinese tech firm also relies on more than 30 American core suppliers. For instance, Microsoft provides the Windows operating system for its laptops. Now, Huawei also uses Intel server chips and processors for its laptop line. Now, for its smartphones, Qualcomm, which is another U.S. chip giant, provides Huawei with modems and processors. Now, other U.S. firms that provide components for Huawei handsets include Corning, which makes the popular Gorilla Glass for screens, and Dolby, a producer of video and audio software. Now, Huawei may soon get a gauge of whether consumers will still buy its phones without Google services. It's launching a line of smartphones under its budget brand Honor in London now. Back home, experts do not expect major short-term problems for Huawei when it comes to its phones, but they've flagged potential issues regarding security and operating systems. A building like in Pyramid. Months ago, People were raving about the P30, Huawei's crown jewel. Despite its zoom capability of up to 50 times, it couldn't see what was about to unfold. Uncertainty now looms for the Chinese tech giant with the company on the Trump administration's blacklist. Experts don't expect immediate issues as Google says the ban will not affect existing devices. Users will still be able to access the Google Play Store and update apps, but there might be future issues like insecurity. The idea we seem to get is that Google will stop providing patches for security, for example, to the Android operating system for the phone. So all the Huawei phones will become vulnerable. But then again, we believe that Huawei will be researching and you know, building their own security patches to allow the users to download and continue to be safe. And when it comes to OS compatibility... The latest, newest Android phones from next year onwards might be running a different operating system or might be running a forked version of Android, uh, depending on what happens. So that may actually affect um, the consumer's choice, uh, whether they want to choose this phone or they want to choose uh, other phones instead with a, a tried, tested and a well-known operating system compared to maybe the new operating system that uh, Huawei might be using. Maybe if Huawei have their own like, app store, then maybe that's okay. Actually, I'm using a Huawei phone right now. So I think by the time I, I, I can always switch to other phone, phone manufacturers. I went into a few mobile phone outlets selling Huawei phones and asked the salespersons there if they've received questions on the Google ban. At Singtel and M1, they said they haven't received much queries. They also said that there isn't any problems with Huawei phones. At Starhub, it's more or less the same story. However, their salesperson told me that I should purchase phones of other brands instead. And when I went into Huawei, I was told that I would receive a two-year warranty with every phone purchase. However, their salesperson couldn't tell me if that guarantees a phone replacement. CNA reached out to the local telcos, but they did not disclose how many Huawei handsets have been sold. 